Next news out of Sri Lanka. The Sri Lanka attacks face coverings have been banned after the Easter bloodshed. Following a spate of suicide attacks on Easter Sunday that killed at least 250 people and injured hundreds, Sri Lanka has banned face coverings in public. The president said he was using an emergency law to impose the restriction on Monday. The face garment, which hinders identification, will be banned to ensure security, his office said. The Muslim leaders criticized the move. Um, Yeah, so... While on one hand, you know, he gets to say, I'm not doing this to punish Muslims. This isn't a Muslim thing. In Sri Lanka, just under 10% of the population is Muslim. And only a small percentage of those people actually wear burqas or hijabs um, in that country. He's he's trying to point out specifically that it's any face covering, but it's obviously just targeting Muslims. So, okay, so he, here's the thing: we don't we can't know people's intention. Do you think that this is just uh, you, you you think that they're just targeting Muslims by doing this, or is it just a security measure? So he said that this is because of the Easter Sunday yeah. attack, right? Yeah. So where. Right. How how can this not? How can he not be talking about? Is he is he banning, uh, like motorcycle helmets? Is he banning? I mean, are they banning motorcycle? Do you, okay. So here's the thing. I I understand that banning face covering is totally fine if it's a, if it's actually a security measure, right? But is it actually a security measure? I don't like. I'm saying this as a person that hates face coverings or hijab in general, right? Uh, but I also want to make sure that we don't have rules limiting people's freedom. Uh, it, but it's you know to wear whatever the hell they want, even though they're being idiots for doing deciding it, that. Um, I just don't. I just think that I agree that if face covering is a security threat then people shouldn't have any religious privileges, right? Like, if you say, like, all face coverings are banned, but, well, because you're religious, you get to wear, you, you get some privileges that other people don't, like, oh, no, that's bullshit. If you're banning face covering, everybody should not, should, you know, it should be banned for everybody, right? People, just because they're Muslim, they don't get to be, they don't get special privileges. But sometimes I think, like, maybe it's the other way around. They're going after women with face covering, and they're just using the security threat argument as an excuse, right? And I just think that's a dangerous move. Um, you know, that's just like, it's because then, for two reasons. First of all, then you're being dishonest here. And if then if you're using security as a excuse to send a message, then you know you're opening the door to the governments always use security threats as a way to pass laws that is not good for the society. For society, I just, if, Beej is saying if somebody wants to attack a face cover isn't going to make a difference, and I absolutely agree with that. Yeah, um, Chris is saying the same thing. Yeah, what's that? Chris, who said that? Beach. Yeah, Chris is also saying the same thing on Facebook. But go on, yeah. Yeah. So, and, and I completely agree with that. And um, like you were saying, if this is truly about uh, safety, then I could completely understand. But the people who who did the suicide bombings on Easter Sunday, they weren't wearing face coverings, were they? No, but but every no, no. okay. This is something that I'm going to say I'm ig- ignorant about because first of all, no security measure is going to completely stop anything. You right. could make you could take a security measure that might reduce the security risk, but then you could and people say like, but what if the people do this? Yeah, but this measure is meant to reduce the risk, not to eliminate the risk, right? So it might actually reduce the risk. I just think I don't know if it's reducing the risk. Has there been a study to show that you know banning face covering is going to reduce the risk has it do we have is are we going by actual data and actual real security intentions or people are just trying to like poke at muslims and they're just using security as an um as an excuse i don't know which one it is i'm just hoping somebody should figure it out because i'm hoping it's not the latter right i i would completely support banning face covering for everybody including muslims and not giving muslims any special rights because of their religion if you could actually show that this is a good security measure to take but if the intention if it's reverse engineered to let's fuck with muslims as revenge and then come up with an excuse as a security measure, I think that's fucked up. 
and and it opens the door to other ways of you know fucking pe fucking with people's liberties because of for with the excuse of security you know what i mean right and also the fact that if by them doing this women who have to wear the hijab you know how we were talking about earlier how it can be a choice for a very small few um but for other people it's not really a choice women who have to wear their head coverings women who have to wear burqas here they're just going to be confined to their homes um and then they're not going to get any outside influence because they're going to be stuck in their homes because they can't leave their homes without their hijabs or their burqas or their niqabs so it's um and all those things are banned by the way that's why i bring them up so it's um it's one of those things where it's like i i do i do feel sorry for women who are forced mm -hmm. into wearing those things and then and then countries threatened to ban them and these women are like, well, what am I going to do now? I have to sit in my house all day. Now I don't get to go talk to friends. Now I don't get to be exposed to other culture. And so it's a, it's a double-edged sword, I think. Godless heathen is saying people should be able to be identified. Yeah, but I mean, if you're going to a, a mosque or a church, you could have women, you know, like if you ask a hijabi, um, not a hijabi, like if somebody is wearing a niqab or whatever face covering, if you tell them that they you, they need to remove it for to be identified, uh, they do remove it, right? Um, especially like, especially if you have a woman there that, to identify them, right? Like if they need to go in a bank, they say, you, we need to identify you. Or if they have a passport agent and they say, we need to identify you, they, could, they do remove their niqab to get identified. So... So I'm not saying it's not a good security measure. I'm just saying somebody has to prove that this is a good security measure before just enforcing it. Uh, Bobby is saying we already have clothing restrictions. Can you walk new to Walmart? Yeah, but I'm not saying you shouldn't have clothing restrictions. I'm just saying that it has to be consistent for everybody and for a good reason, right? I'm not saying this. there's not a good reason to restrict this. There might be a good reason to restrict face covering, but people should demand evidence you know people should demand proof let me see what the top comments are actually uh this person that i can't pronounce their first name is saying can we just ban religion as a whole yeah sure that 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 works what are you talking about <laughs> how are you but i mean how have we not thought of that sooner how how the people that say let's ban religion can you can somebody tell me exactly how you're going to ban religion how is that ever first of all people before you have tried and it backfired big time Okay, this is why Iran, we have the Islamic revolution in Iran. Okay, this is why Turkey is now a much more Islamic country than it used to be. Because people try to force secularism on people and it fed religion. Religion feeds on being oppressed. It has, you can't just ban religion. It doesn't work. You can't change people's, you can't force people to change their beliefs. Right, you can't. You only can convince them, you can't force them. So, so let me actually read the full thing before actually maybe I over judge that too soon. So let me see. Can we just ban religion as a whole? Uh, keep your spirituality, send your prayers, but do we really need religion? When I said religion, that means Christianity too, all of them. Yeah, we don't need religion, but you have to convince people that we don't need religion. You can't just force them to stop being religious. You can't force people out of their beliefs. I don't even understand how you would go and do that. I, I don't understand. Matt is saying, I as a ninja, I'm offended. Okay. Um, what's this? Glad, uh, glad to see support from all around the world. It's not that they're allowed anywhere. Hmm. A lot of people actually like this niqab ban. I think people should demand evidence that this is actually good for security measure before they support it. Uh, Sopam is saying criminals have often used the burqa to escape the police. A couple of months ago or so a Hindu quack dog tried the same thing in the cabal. Okay but Sopam is face covering they could have used a different face covering no? If they didn't have the burqa like is it yeah, so yeah, I know that people use it, but people could use um, people use the burqa. Yeah, but does, are you so? Are you suggesting that's an argument for banning burqa altogether? Jack is saying helmets are mostly banned, can't go in stores, transit, etc. Sikhs get special rights to not wear helmets here in BC, uh, for example. Religions have loads of headwear. Okay, so that's what I'm against, right? So, for example. This is why I would be 
against religious getting special treatment, right? So, for example, in BC, where I am, where me and Jack are, um, there are some things that are banned for everybody except for religious people. That's bullshit, right? The, if Sikhs and Muslims get away with not wearing helmets, uh, and everybody else has to wear helmets, or people say the helmet is, uh, you can't go into uh, stores or transit with a face covering unless you're a Muslim, that's bullshit. If it's banned, it should be consistent across the board, right? Every, it should be banned for Muslims as well. Uh, Muska is saying, Armin, all, all the society can do is ban religion and politics for, from mixing. Yeah, I agree with that, Mus. Oh, hey, Christy is here. Um, Christy is saying, exactly, look at China, banning beliefs is working Sp uh, okay, because somebody said earlier it's working fine in China, but it's not working fine in China. No, no, China she's, has she's, camps she's, she where they have millions of Muslims that they're entrapping in, in their camps right now and torturing. So no, she's she's being she says insert massive eye roll. She's, no, I know she's being sarcastic to the comment above that, which oh. said it's working fine in China, and she's right. saying it's not working fine in China, and it's not. She's right. Yeah, and. If you support that, then then if you then you're supporting getting closer to an author, uh, authoritarian regime like China. Then so I think China is a good example of what we want to avoid. Right. Right. So Pan is saying I agree. Face coverings are often a threat to security. However, I won't support banning the burqa just for the sake of attacking Muslims. Right. If somebody actually ha shows that face covering is a security threat and it it's a good thing to ban all face covering then I would support banning the burqa, right? But if it wasn't, let's fuck with Muslims by saying that this is a security measure. If that's the intention, it's wrong. But I will support banning the burqa if somebody says, shows that, you no, know, this is a good security measure. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.